certainly within the, the, the vehicle of Led Zeppelin, there was so, so much improvisation that was employed within, within the framework of a number. Um, and th our sets went from, well, in those early days, there were maybe, uh, m maybe an hour, hour, hour and 20 minutes, um, to um, three hours, three and a half hours. Because we were, we, were, we were jamming and we were making up music there and then on the spot. And because the, 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 the thing about the band was that you, 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 you would have to be listening all the time to what, every, what everyone else was doing. So if I was to take a, a different shift, a different route on the guitar, they'd be with you like that. Or if Robert was going to sort of sing, if, if you, you were going into a quiet passage and Robert would start singing something, you'd be straight with him on it, with something that was new and new, new chord structures and... It was pretty a pretty extraordinary thing. So there was uh, there were frameworks to numbers, but but there were whole areas for improvisation. So prior to going on the stage, you'd have to be very focused so that you could really, especially if we were starting with something like "Song Remains the Same," which is a pretty testy song, and yeah, you'd you'd need to be very focused to go on and and, and kick off with something like that. But as I, as I may have mentioned before. You, you, you wouldn't know what was going to happen within those three hours because so many things would, would come up. And, and you wouldn't necessarily remember everything that had gone on either. So it was pretty good that there were so many bootlegs that I managed to listen to with all these different concerts because there are, there are some of them really dramatically different from night to night to hear just exactly how marvellous we were.